We have breaking news right now while you're on the air. The uh, Patriots have, in fact, traded Gronkowski for a seventh-round draft pick to the Buccaneers, so he will hook up with uh, wow. Tom Brady again. How about that? Wow, that is something. Because, you know, Gronk has been up here a couple times. He's a friend of uh, one of my friends, and he's continually told me that, you know, I don't think I'm going back. But he never said he wasn't going back, but he, he his father is a uh, – is a Syracuse graduate and, and a friend of mine as well, and uh, they were pretty steadfast that he they didn't think he would go back. But it's awful tempting. It's awful tempting. He's a great player. Uh, well, here, here's the deal: uh, uh, Patriots like sent the a, Patriots. Yeah, Patriots sent Gronkowski and a seventh round pick to the Bucks for a fourth round pick, and this is pending a physical, according wow. to Adam Schefter. Wow, that's wild. That's a wild one right there. I'll yeah. tell you that. That's a crazy wild one. But he's the guy. Still the best tight end in football. I mean, he, that's a big addition for uh, Brady if he has has him down there. And wow. those wide receivers too. Wow, he's got a lot Ooh. of targets. That's something else right there. Well, I met. I mean, I know in New York this doesn't go over well, but Brady was up here for a game. He was so nice. He talked to our players. He he really gave a great message, and uh, talked to the coaches. I talked to him for a number of minutes, and he was just great. I mean, honestly, he's great. And uh, his message to the players was beautiful. I wish I had it taped. Uh, and he said, he looked at him. He says, look. They talk about money. They talk about doing. I, I'm going. Back. I'm playing football because I love to play football. Mm. <laughs> I do love to play football, and uh, and I believe it. You know, hundred one thousand percent. You know, obviously he doesn't need money. But yeah, uh, New York's yeah. weird with him because Jet fans hate him, but Giant fans are like, okay, we beat him twice. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember those games. I went to school with a good, friend, a really close friend of mine, and actually, I was his resident advisor. Uh, was his Tommy Coughlin, and uh, I was kind of pulling. And you know, I'm a huge Patriot fan, but I was kind of pulling a little bit for the Giants in those games because of uh, Tom was getting so much heat in New York, and he, he survived a few extra years because of beating the Patriots twice. <laughs> oh, you think? Anyway, good luck on Saturday. We love having you on. You and your wife are doing great things, and this all goes to COVID-19 relief efforts. And uh, it starts at, uh, I want to give it 7 to 8 p.m. The first hour is on NBC3 up there and streaming on cnycentral.com. And then you take it the second hour on Facebook. There's a lot of surprise guests. And Jimmy Fallon, I know you're in the Hamptons right now. If you're listening, Jim Beheim needs <laughs> yeah. you to call up. We need him. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. All right. Stay safe, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Interesting stuff. And how about that? Gronk is back. Gronk I, is back. You know, can we just be honest? Yeah. When this whole Brady thing started, did that even remotely cross your mind as an yes. option? Yes. Yes, it did. No, not me. I don't know. Well, he Wait. loves Brady. He even said he would only come back with Brady, so I, I thought I thought it was a good fit. But what does it say about Belichick again? He didn't want to come back last year when they had a chance for a ring. He wanted to come back and go to Tampa. Isn't that weird? Well, but the, I, I didn't feel this way. I was the I, I didn't think he'd come back. But there were a lot of people. Michael, you felt for sure that he had, he would come back. So maybe it's just timing. He he, he stepped away for a, a time, and now he's ready to go back. And he's going back to a team that you know he really can excel because they've got a lot of options there. Tampa's just going to be a better team, Michael. I, I and I have all the respect in the word for Bill. I've, I've I've said I would take Bill over Tom. But the way Tampa's trending it's, right now, he's not going to some random yo-yo team. This team, no, and then with their wide up. receivers and him, oh my goodness, explosive! I mean, what do you, what do, you do with Arians him? Like, a great offensive coach. This could, th Peter, this could be Montana to Kansas City again. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it feels much more like that. And what do you do if you're a defense with Mike Evans and Rob Gronkowski on the field at the same time? Did you guys like my uh, my graphic?